Dear students, Assalamu alaikum. This is Sobia Wahid. I'll be teaching you computer science for this session. I hope you all are safe at home. Uh, first, let's have a look at the syllabus breakup. I hope you all have received textbooks from college. During the first term, we are going to cover two chapters. The first one is fundamental of computers. Second one is data communications. During second term, we will be covering three chapters. Fundamentals of operating system, office automation, mm -hmm. which is basically a practical based chapter. And then third one is computer networks. And during the third term, we are left just with one chapter, which is computer security ethics. Now let's start our first chapter, fundamentals of computers. First, let's see what is a computer. I have taught you in grade 8 also and you all know basically what is a computer. A computer is an electronic machine which takes input and processes it and gives us output. Now, computer processes, in the f uh, processes and stores data in the form of machine language and it processes the, processes the data according to the instructions given to it. And these instructions are given in the form of any programming language. <coughs> and then after processing it gives us output. That's how a modern computer works. And what computers do basically? Computers do uh, mathematical and logical computations for us. How the modern computers were invented basically? Iskiliye, let's uh, study the history. Initially, Bohasari mathematical, mechanical mathematical uh, calculation killing machines bani. And eventually, they took the form of today's modern computer. First one was Abacus, and it was invented by Chinese people during 12th century. And it was uh, also for mathematical addition, subtraction, and multiplication and calculations. And these were done by wooden beads. By the moving, by the movement of wooden beads, calculation was done. Next. A Scottish scientist, uh, basically he was a mathematician, Napier, uh, he invented Napier's bone in 1614 and it consisted of a wooden box which had different cylinders and each cylinder had digits from 0 to 9 and by the rotation of the cylinders calculation was done. The biggest achievement of uh, Napier was logarithm and uh, with the uh, addition, subtraction and division, uh, square root was also calculated by this mechanical machine. Next, a French mathematician Pascaline invented Mm, and then another machine 1642 uh, it had rotation wheels and the calculation was done through these rotation wheels uh, each wheel had uh, divided into uh, 10 parts with digits 0 to 9 when after the rotation of one wheel second wheel moved through one digit that's how mathematical calculation was done And after that, analytical engine was invented by Charles Babbage in 1822. This was a big success. Charles Babbage is also known as father of computer because today's modern computer is based on the idea of this analytical engine. Basically, Charles Babbage started um, uh, to work on a machine called difference engine, but uh, he couldn't complete his idea because he didn't have uh, that much technology available at that time so he came up with another idea that was of analytical engine and uh, it was based on uh, the concept of today's modern computer uh, 
and uh, the biggest achievement was that uh, using analytical engine trigonometric calculations were also possible. Next was uh, another machine was called a test. It was basically a tabulating machine. Tabulation means to summarize the information. Uh, this machine used punch card readers and this was basically used for census in US. It was also a big success and uh, Hollerith um, uh, invented a company. He started a company which was um, and afterwards it was named as IBM which is still a, a very popular company for computer manufacturing. Next was another mechanical machine, the slide tool. It was invented by an, an English mathematician, William. Uh, it was basically for, uh, it was based on the idea of logarithm and uh, there was a, a rule and there was a uh, index which was uh, used to rotate or used to move on the slide, on the rule. So the calculation was done. Now, the first digital a digital computer, most successful digital computer was invented in 1944 by Howard Ackman. Its size was very big, uh, about uh, of a big room and it was 8 feet high and uh, there were 3000 switches uh, in the first uh, Mark 1 and after some time mark 2 and mark 3 were also after some additions invented uh, the big success of uh, this machine was that it could it could add three numbers of eight digits in one second that was a big success after the evolution of um, a digital computer more and more advancement uh, started and aaj ka jo modern computer hai that was formed uh, if we see if we look at the computers invented um, the, if you if we see at the digital computers invented then we could divide it in five generations the first generation of computers was from 1940 to 1956. These computers were basically based on vacuum tube technology. A vacuum tube is basically a hollow tube, glass tube with electrodes for uh, passing current. Uh, these computers were uh, very expensive and they released a lot of heat because they used a, lot, uh, a big number of vacuum tubes. The first computer basically used 1800 to 2000 vacuum tubes and it was very difficult to manage to maintain these computers in these computers the input was given through punched cards and output was given output was taken out through prints using electric typewriters and uh, the problem was that machine language was used which was very very difficult for humans to handle that is the language of zero and one the second generation of computer started from was from 1956 to 1963. Now, this uh, what was the difference between the first generation and second generation is that uh, at the place of vacuum tubes in the second generation, transistors took the place of vacuum tube, and it was a big success because of the invention of transistors. The size of computers became small; their processing speed increased and they were more reliable uh, during um, this generation the computers used punch card readers for input and for storage magnetic tapes were used and printers were, sol were also used for output and during this time assembly language photo and cobol were also invented basically a transistor is an amplifier. Amplifier means to enhance, to uh, increase the, for enhancement of, uh, to, for the amplification of current. Uh, basically, transistors were used. 
the third generation of computers was um, again, again a, very, a big success. It was based on IC chips. Like we see the chips in today's modern computers, IC chip was invented during the third generation computers. IC means integrated circuit chips. Means uh, a big number of circuits are integrated or combined in a small chip. So because of the invention of ICs, the processing speed and storage capacity means memory of the computers increased, their size reduced, their cost reduced and during this generation, keyboards and monitors were also introduced. And these uh, computers could uh, do multiple applications, it could run multiple applications and it was a big success. These were closer to the to today's modern computers. Then, fourth generation is from 1971 to the uh, to present age. It was based on VLSI technology. And the most important thing about this generation was, and obviously is that, microprocessors were invented. Now what is VLSI technology? VLSI means very large scale integration, millions of uh, circuits embedded on a single chip. So with the invention of VLSI technology, computers became very fast, very reliable, storage capacity increased, their cost became reduced and um, graphical user interface was also introduced in multimedia softwares and high level languages all you can see in today's world are possible in this fourth generation and microprocessor uh, what is microprocessor microprocessor is basically uh, the main processing unit of a computer it is a chip which is embedded on the motherboard and this is basically all you all know the brain of the computer it, it does all the uh, processing for computer so these modern computers you have seen everywhere in banks in offices in college in your home these computers could be in any form in these are embedded in mobile phones uh, in tablets in automatic machines in laptops everywhere you could see today's modern computers. What's next? Now, this is a very interesting topic, I hope. Next comes fifth, fifth generation of computers. This is uh, uh, a lot of work is being done about this. Or your fourth generation ke saath, combinedly fifth generation uh, the evolution ho raha hai, is pe kaam ho raha hai. Now, what is the fifth generation of computer? It is based on artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence means to make machines more and more intelligent. That they uh, apparently it uh, looks that they are behaving like humans, but they are not actually humans. They are just machines. They are artificially intelligent because through programming. Now, here goes your first assignment. Aap ne ye batana hai ki fifth generation computers ko aap ne, so what do you know about fifth generation computers and how they are going to affect our lives and what and where have you seen or what have you heard about these computers uh, you can uh, email me the answer my email address is given here what you have to do is just think over it take some time uh, two three days in the next week you have to submit your assignment and it must be about 200 words So best of luck, enough for the first uh, lesson, thank you, Allah Hafiz.